إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهديه الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضلل فلن تجله وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه أشهد أنه قد بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين وعن جابر أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن من أحبكم إلي وأقربكم مني مجلسا يوم القيامة أحاسنكم أخلاقا أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أما بعد Oh praise to Allah Oh praise to Allah The one, the only The one who should be worshipped I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe And he is the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that Muhammad Alayhi salatu wassalam Is his messenger True mercy sent to us If you follow his path Insha'Allah will be in Jannah أما بعد Always Subhanallah When we left back home Always I have my cousin, my brother, my sister, my uncle around me, support me, take care of me. If I fall, they will push up. They will make sure that we stand and, and help each other. SubhanAllah, we came here in Canada, all of us, especially the people over 25. Where is your family? Back home. Then really, we are your family. We are the support system around you. How can we value this? Very important to know that we live our lives, we go up and down. Calamities hits us and we go down. We stand up and then a calamities will hit us again. And sometimes you need someone to tell you, you're okay, you're good, don't worry. You're going the right path. Is this in our religion? Yes, surprisingly, yes. Not surprisingly, I cannot use the word surprisingly, but truly is. In our religion, we support each other. Where? Let's see. The first hadith I have is Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, radiallahu an. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was a midget. He's a young man, small, maybe 56 centimeters. And he was going to a tree. 
And the Sahaba looked at him and he started laughing. You know, 50, 50 centimeters, what do you think his foot will look like? And the Prophet was coming in and looked at them and he said, you're teasing Abdullah and Mas'ud's foot? By Allah, by Allah, his foot is heavier than Jabal Uhud, the mountain of Uhud. Imagine Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is there hearing that. Right? Hearing that. وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدِ وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ بِيَدِهِ لَهُمَا أَفْقَلُ فِي الْمِيزَانِ مِنْ أُحُد Who will laugh on him again? Who will laugh on him again? Support. Support. Look at this. Some of the tabi'een was asked, what's the best thing you can do? Best thing. What do you think? Prayer? Fasting? Taking, uh, giving? No. Charity? Even though charity is good, a mosque is outside waiting for you. But no. The best thing is gabr al-khawatir. Taking care of each other. Making sure we support each other. I always say that, even though it's not written here, with a simple smile, sometimes we need it. A simple smile to each other. Wallahi, we are bakhil even to smile to each other. Smile to each other. Make sure that you support me even with a simple smile. This will help. And look at this. Imagine a head of state, the Prophet والسلام, walking in Medina. Walking in Medina. Head of state. Imagine Justin Trudeau is walking and you see a young kid crying. Do you think he'll stop? I don't know. But the Prophet stopped. والسلام, he saw a young boy crying. Why? Why are you crying, my son? He said, my bird died. My bird died. And he sat beside him. Imagine, head of state, a prophet, a messenger. He doesn't have any, he, he has a lot in his plate. But still, Gabr Khater, taking care of a young kid, sat beside him, supported him. Allah subhanAllah, when I think about it, unbelievable, this prophet, والسلام, takes care of every one of us. The Imam Shafi'i, radiallahu anhu, from this hadith, took 99 hukm from this small hadith, by the way. It's a very short hadith. 99 hukm. And he said, enough. I will not go beyond 99. <laughs> That's enough. Imagine, there is more. But 99 hukm from this short hadith. He sat beside him and he said, don't worry. I said, That's it. The Prophet said, a simple thing the Prophet Isaiah do, taking care of each other. A Prophet was walking one day, and from our definition, he doesn't look good. And the Prophet looked at him and said, Imagine with me now the Prophet is laughing. I said, Who will buy this slave? Joking with his friends. And the man looked at him and he said, Oh Prophet, you will not, you will not, you will not find a seller for me. I'll not be selling anything. I don't look good. Look at the Prophet immediately. Support. What do he say? You are so expensive in the eyes of Allah. He got a reward. He got a reward. Immediately. Immediately. The Prophet ﷺ even loves every one of you. Of us. Everyone, and he says salam to every one of you. اشتقتوا إلى أصحابي. اشتقتوا إلى أحبابي. قال أولسنا أحبابي. قال لا. أنتم أصحابي. You are my companions. My beloved people are. People comes after me. They didn't know, they didn't see me. And they believed in me. الواحد منهم, each one of them is equal to 50. And the Sahaba looked at the Prophet and he said, Oh Prophet, 50 of them. One of you is equal to 50 of you. The Prophet said, No. One of you is equal to 50 of the Sahaba. What? This is Gabr Khatir Kumentum. They're taking care of you. He's taking care of you. No. Why, O oh Prophet? 50 of them. No, 50 of you. That you do not haqqi mu'inan wa la These find, they don't find support. 
If you want to go to the mosque, stay home. If you want to help each other, don't do it. If you want to give in the sake of Allah, your wife will come. Come on, who will buy from the food and the meat? And Come on. The mosque, there are, there are other people to take care of you, them, mosque. But we, we are poor. But the, the fridge is full. <laughs> no, 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 no. After 10 years, we have a Azuma. We have someone coming. We have to save some meat. Right? But no. To support each other. Your wife will push you. Your friends at school, let's pray. Jessica will see me. She will see me praying. How? Oh, I cannot. I have to look good. Look neat. And I, you won't have wudu. Someone Muhammad will come. No, pray. Ahmad will come. Let's pray each other. Support. Support. Help each other. One of the things that I always like to say, the Prophet ﷺ. I said it in the last khutbah, by the way. The Prophet ﷺ, when his wife died, and his uncle died. What happened? He fell down. Even they called it Amul Huzn, the year of sadness. The Prophet was sad, right? Where is the support system? Who do you think will support the Prophet? Allah Himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. How? Let's go on a trip. I'll take you on a trip, O Muhammad. Where? I'll make Jibreel, the head of angels, take care of the Burak. Your upper than donkey and lower than horse. Let's go on it and say Jibreel will take, it, take over. Take it. And he will, he will see the whole sky and whole everything. And not only that. Because Sayyidina Ibrahim said, Sayyidina Ibrahim saw it too. No, no, no. You're special. You're special. How? Let's go up more. See all the prophets. Not only all the prophets, lead the prophets. Where? In the Masjid Al Aqsa. All the prophets were there praying with Muhammad. And he led the prayer. And then, that's it? No, 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 no. Go up. Come to me. Go to a place even Jibreel himself couldn't go in. Jibreel himself. Jibreel himself, yes. And Jibreel told him, if you go, you'll go through. If I go, I'll die. He knows his limits. And Sayyid Muhammad went in. Ali salatu wasalam. Support. What do you think he'll come? If you think about a little bit, when he came back, the da'wah, went up immediately he went up to Medina and because he had the support he knows Allah now supporting him 100% 100% Sayyidina Musa standing in front of the sea and Pharaoh is behind him and they're gonna kill them and he knows it's not joking he knows the army is behind him the sea in front of him 100% they'll die the companion of Sayyidina Musa said, Inna we are, Where are we going? We'll die. What Sayyidina Musa said? Because he knows the support he has. No. Kalla. Inna ma ya Rabbi sayyidin. Allah will take care of me. Allah will take care of me. And what Allah said did? Through the stick. I always, I always love this. Through the stick. Imagine if I tell any one of you, support me. Yeah, family, come. Buddies, let's go. There's a fight here. What, what, what Allah said, throw the stick. And what did Sayyidina Musa do? He obeyed immediately. Stick, gone. And immediately the miracle happened. Support. What else? Sometimes we need support in, if we are sick. Support, come and support. And always when you, you come, you don't sit and eat now mahshi and, ka, and kebab and let's eat bakhla. No, sit five minutes. Inshallah, you'll be saved. Inshallah, you'll be nice and leave. Because the sick person is tired. The orphans. Always the orphans because he had, doesn't have a father. Even the prophet himself was hit by that. When the people who breastfeed the kids, 
came to pick all the kids, the Prophet wasn't picked because he's an orphan. Even his grandfather is the head, but his father died. The orphans, taking care of the orphans. Taking care of every Muslim kid. Everyone here is my son, or my nephew, or my cousin, or my grandson. I'm old now. I have a grandson now. A grandson. Everyone. Wallahi, if we treat each other this way, our life will be different. But the problem is, we learn it's me and I and myself. Nah, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. No. Look at the others and try your best to accommodate each other. Remember that. Remember to say I'm sorry. We miss that a lot. Even here in Canada, we used to say I'm sorry. But really, with each other, we need to learn it more as Muslims. Saying I'm sorry, أعتذر. And nothing is wrong with that. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu an was giving the khutbah. And in the, in the khutbah, he said, hold. He went down, made wudu, came back. And he said, لَقَدْ أَحْدَثَ أَمِيرُكُمْ What does it mean? Your head of state just lost his wudu. And after the khutbah, Sayyidina Ali said, Why did you say that? Why? No need. He said, Sayyidina Umar looked at them and said, ذهبت وأنا عمر وعدت وأنا عمر What are you talking about? I went, I'm Umar, I came back, I'm Umar يا علي لفضوح الدنيا خير من فضوح الأخرة Everyone knows about Sayyidina Umar In this dunya, nothing But the problem if we see each other in the hereafter All the books will be seen, imagine Oh, the khatib is seeing or doing or playing or imagine Imagine everything will be seen in front of everyone. al fadiha May Allah make a satr on us. And Yakbul Khatirna and He makes satr and, uh, and He doesn't, doesn't give us that everyone, the scene that everyone will see our sins. Even our parents. Even our family. Satr. And Yakbul Khatirna. Oh Allah, accept us. Allah make the dua. Oh Allah, accept us. Giving a gift for the brothers, a brother. And I start with it, I'll end with it. The first part of the khutbah, smiling. I love the smile, Allah, when we see each other, smile. Make sure that we smile to each other, supporting with a simple smile. And not only that, you will be rewarded. If you smile, you will be rewarded. Even the Prophet gave us a sadaqah. I'm smiling and I'm taking hasanat. Just a smile. Just a smile. We need to work with each other like that. Allahumma ghafir lana wa rahamna wa anta rahmu rahmin wa adu'u rabbakum wa tuqinu bil ijabah. Allahumma ghafir lana wa rahamna wa asrafana fi amrina wa tawfana wa asrafana. Allahumma rahamna, Allahumma khina, Allahumma jim. In alhamdulillah, na ahmadu wa nasta'inu wa nasta'gfiru wa nasta'hdi wa na'udhu billahi min shuru anfusina wa min sayyati a'amalina. Amma ba'd. Definitely, the most one that I believe that we have to work on is taking care of our family, our parents. Usually, especially the young people, your parents getting old and they'll be older. Sometimes we feel that, oh, why I'm doing that? Why my father is an old fashioned? Always remember, make sure that he's tried his best. Maybe his best is not enough, but he tried his best. Maybe his best is not, your mother is, didn't do as much as you think you should, you should be doing, your expectations, but she tried. Part of Gabriel Khawatir, taking care of her, is smiling to her, saying thank you. Go to your father and mother today, if they're alive, thank you. Thank you for bringing me up. It's hard sometimes. Why should I tell them? Tell them the khatib said so. Tell them the khatib said so. The khatib is telling me to say salam to you. How are you my father? How are you my mother? And they are nearby. Try to kiss their forehead. And make sure that you did well. Wallahi, some people said that, oh, I, I, I'll give them high. No, no, no. It's you. You are the winner. You. You are the winner. 
you Allah, you will feel tranquility and calmness in your body and heart. You will feel good. Let's finish with a story. And I always, when I read this story, I almost cry. Hopefully I will not this time, but we'll see. The Ansar in Ghazwat Hunayn, Ghazwat Hunayn, this is one of the big Ghazwa, they lost in the beginning and they won, and they won a lot of money. And the Prophet ﷺ gave most of the money to Ahl Mecca, to his people, from the point of view of an Ansar. And Ansar didn't get anything, almost. And he said, oh, the Prophet found his people. He's not coming back with us. That's it. Done. Mecca is open and now he'll go back. And they talked to each other. And Sa'd ibn Ubadah, the head of Ansar, went to the Prophet ﷺ. And he told him, oh, Prophet, <laughs> oh, Prophet, the people of Ansar are finding something on you. What? You're giving people of Mecca the money and you didn't give us anything. And the Prophet looked at Sa'd ibn Ubadah and said, How about you? You're the head of your people. What do you think? And Sa'd ibn Ubadah said, I am one of the people. I am one of the people. This means what? I'm with them. I believe so. And immediately the Prophet said, Bring all the Ansar in one place. And he brought all the Ansar. By the way, this is out of Medina, not in Medina, out of Medina. After Hunayn. If you go to Medina, inshallah, you can see it. The place they met. And who, who is there? Everyone. And he ordered only Abu Bakr and Omar to stand outside to guard the place. No one should get in except the people of Medina. And the Prophet started by saying, I heard something from you. What can you tell me? Imagine, they're Ansar. They said, Lillahi al wa minna. We cannot say anything. He's a prophet. And they are the Ansar. And the prophet starting saying, I came to you and you were going stray and Allah guided you. You came, I came to you poor and Allah make you rich. And you're fighting with each other. And Allah make your hearts one. And the Ansar said yes. The Ansar said yes. Yes, O oh Prophet. He did that. And said, in Arab, we say, Agibuni, tell me. Show me. What, what, what did you do? By the way, the Prophet said three things. Now, the Ansar, because they are the Ansar, they said what? Lillahi <laughs> al cannot say anything. And the Prophet starts saying, if you say, you will be truthful. And not only that, and you will say the truth only. What? What is going on? You came, everyone didn't believe in you. We believed in you. You came, no one supporting you. We supported you. You came, you didn't have any place to go to. You came and lived with us. And you didn't have a family. We gave you a family. By the way, Prophet said three. And Prophet said in their voices four. To give them more credit. Making sure that they're okay. You're good. Sometimes they do things you don't understand, but you're still good. And the Prophet said, Wallahi, anyway, the Prophet said that I will go come with you. Don't you want the people of Mecca to take some money and they'll come back with you? And everyone starts crying. Everyone. And the Prophet went back with them to Medina. I know some of the youth will say, why are you crying about that? It's a story. What's the crying here? Why are you crying? No, when you understand the value of the Prophet والسلام, coming with you, you'll be crying. If you understand that, wallahi, it's a different world. When you believe that the Prophet coming back with you is something that unbelievable. And remember that one thing aside, the Prophet والسلام, even though he's debating with them, he gave them their rights. Right? He said the truth about what 
if you fight with your brother, don't push him down. Don't, oh, I did this and this and this and you didn't do anything. No, no. Gabr Khatan, even your, your, your brother, tell them, no, you're good. But no, we have a problem. I'll finish with that. Sayyidina Ali, when he was asked about Sayyidina Muawiyah, one of the people went to him, Sayyidina Ali, because it's the 10th of Ashura, the fight every year we have. Sayyidina, one of the people of Sayyidina Ali went to him and said, tell about Sayyidina Muawiyah that they are kuffar. And Sayyidina Ali said, no. They are ran away from kuffar. Tell them about munafiqeen. No, they are not munafiqeen. Definitely they are not munafiqeen. They are not hypocrites. Then what, what are they? Look at Sayyidina Ali said they are ikhwanuna they are our brothers baghu alayna they are they, they took something they shouldn't be taken that's it that's it don't go to this fight between Sayyidina Ali and Sayyidina Muawiyah never go there you are not equal to them to fight their fight never go there they are sahaba they are sahaba the best qualified people around the Prophet ﷺ. So please, I beg you, part of Gabr Khatirhum, taking care of them, never use your tongue against them. Because some people come to, oh, my, oh, my. freeze. They are Sahaba. Who are you to talk about them? We are not there to judge. Then we are here to accept. They are Sahaba, and that's about it. Stop there, stop your tongue, because you cannot stand in front of any of them and talk. Even Allah subhanAllah. Your value is, we are all our values. The Sahaba are much higher than this. May Allah make us from the people who are here, dear Allahumma ghfir lana dhunubana. Allahumma ghfir lana dhunubana. Wa israfana fi amrina. Wa tawafana salihin. Allahumma ghfir warham, wa'af, wa takarram, wa tajawaz amma ta'lam. اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم تقبل منا رمضان اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن سبقنا بالإيمان اللهم اجبر خواتيرنا يا رب العالمين اللهم لا نرضى إلا وأن نحن في الجميع في الجنة يا رب العالمين فاكبر خواتيرنا يا رب العالمين وآخر دعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا لصلاتكم ورحمة الله وأقم الصلاة بسم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله